Hey guys, I'm Joe, you're watching Theo Joe Tech. In this video, I'm gonna talk about monitor calibration, just a basic intro for those of you who aren't really familiar about how it's done and the benefits of it. So basically, monitor calibration is when you use some sort of tool, whether it's just pure software or hardware as well, to make sure that the colors on your display are accurate. There are basically two types of physical hardware tools that you can use to calibrate your monitor. The first one is a colorimeter and the second one is a spectrophotometer. Both of these have different merits. The colorimeter is usually a lot cheaper, but the spectrophotometer is usually much more accurate, but also a lot more expensive. But basically how both of them work is you put it on the monitor just right in the middle and run some software and it displays different colors, measures it, compares it to what it should be, and then adjusts your monitor's color profile accordingly so it displays what the color actually should be. So if your monitor has like a color tint over it or something and then you run a monitor calibration, you'll notice it probably doesn't have that tint anymore or maybe the gamma curve is wrong so that you know the shadows and blacks aren't really that low and you know they need to be lowered so you can improve your contrast ratio that sort of thing those are all benefits of using a calibration tool now the real benefit of calibrating your monitor shows up when you are creating any type of content whether professionally or as a hobby specifically in regards to visual creations like graphic design or photos or video production and that sort of thing where you're editing and you want the colors of the image to be correct on the screen because you know maybe the image does look like there's a color cast and you correct it out but really it was the monitor so when other people with you know regular monitors see that image it's gonna have a new color cast because you overcorrected, so if that makes sense. So that's one of the main benefits and really the most important benefit if you're doing any professional design work is you want to make sure that the image on the screen is the correct color. And I can actually give a specific example from personal experience. If you look at a lot of my old videos, they kind of make me look red in the face and turns out that was because the monitor I was using wasn't really that accurate, it didn't have good sRGB color space coverage and on top of that it wasn't calibrated so what I thought looked fine on the screen was actually making me look really red and people are like why do you look red and I'm like what are you talking about and then I looked on one of my other monitors that I had that I did end up calibrating and then realized wow you're right this makes me look completely red and then after that I was able to fix it. So you might not think you have to calibrate your monitor, but you might not know until you do it and then you'll realize how bad your monitor looked before, especially if you have you know, a really good IPS panel, you're kind of selling yourself short if you're not gonna be taking advantage of the full quality of that display if it wasn't correctly calibrated from the factory. Now, if you have a lower end TN panel or something, calibrating your monitor probably isn't gonna do much anyway because those are not really that good for color reproduction. But if you have an IPS panel, you know, it might be worth it to spend a hundred bucks on a color calibration colorimeter or something like that, that you can ensure that, you know, your monitor is displaying colors correctly. Now the colorimeter that I have is called the Spider 5. And what I actually did, I didn't use the software that came with it because there are three different models of the Spider 5. There's the, you know, budget one that comes with basic software, but the most expensive one, which costs I think like $500 or something, all it does is comes with different software. So I actually downloaded a different open source software called DiscCal GUI. I'll put a link to all this in the description that does a lot of the high end features, but you can just buy the low end package and then use the third party software to calibrate your monitor even better. So that might be something you might want to look into. Now it was kind of a pain to use this third party software because you had to go and get special drivers. I had to search all over the place. But if you're really tech savvy, you shouldn't have a problem being able to follow their quick start guide on the Display Cow GUI uh, website. So I guess that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, you can let me know in the comments section or hit me up on Twitter or something like that. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. If you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either in the comments section or on Twitter. 
Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.